There are some blood tests now and genome sequencing, and there's a lot more individualization you can do for cancer, which unfortunately is not being done. Just to give you context, and this is from Dr. Tom Insladen, who I have to give credit to. He, he treats cancer here in Scottsdale, and he's, he's, he does whole genome sequencing, and he says the standard of care, even at the best cancer centers like MD Anderson, are nine, he, 900 times less than what he's doing in terms of like how much genome sequencing you should be doing to figure out what's the best type of therapy for this cancer. So there's he, like, that's a crazy, that's not ideal. No, exactly. That's a crazy amount. And that's the number he used. And I'm just like, wow, that is, but because there's no individualization, it's almost kind of like, it's just a mass approach for everyone, but it has to be like personalized treatment for you based off what type of cancer. Cause there's just so many different subtypes and depending on the genome sequencing of the tumor and the microenvironment, there's going to be different cancer therapies that are going to